Thank you for joining us on our Thursday night collaboration with Louise McKay Art, followed by myself. Then after me is Amber's Awfully Awesome Art, and then Angela Bliss Art. Check out all of our channels. We have a lot of great content. We are so thankful to have all of you here with us, and we are so, so grateful for those that continue to come back every Thursday night. Let's get started. Hi everybody. Look what I've got. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am actually was asked to be a test person. Um, thank you to Jessica from Winterstrom um, for sending this to me. It is amazing. This is so well made. If you can see how she constructs this in here, it's just awesome. So I am going to be using this. I've been not wanting to use it because I don't want to get it messed up, but I think it's time that I use it. Thank you, Jessica. This is going to be a tester. It's not the small one and not the large one. And make sure you check her out at PoreCon. She will be showing you how she creates these. Let's get down to the canvas. Okay, we are going to start by pouring some good old PPG. Um, I am working on a 16 inch round and we are going to do a deconstructed bloom. So I'm going to go over my colors here in a moment, but um, I'm very excited. I'm not going to use the spinner only to spin a little bit of the paint off. Um, as you know, for deconstructed blooms, we do a lot of tilting and I took Amber's advice and I did a binge watch on Karen Dershon's channel and watched her deconstructed blooms and I really learned a lot by watching her and um, I hope I made her proud because I really I think I've done one other deconstructed bloom when I took Tara's class but I have not done a lot of them I've done a lot of blooms just deconstructed seems a little bit more challenging so let's get started okay that first color is primary yellow and yellow submarine tlp followed by tlp mango and pebio dark cadmium yellow mixed the third one is tlp grenache and master's touch sachet red just a touch now you see supernova i love supernova and then the third color is a mixture of Arteza Pearl Marmalade and Pearl Armantha Red by Arteza. Then I'm going to go back with some of the same. Oh, this is Pearl Vermilion. I'm sorry. This is a Master's Touch. It's their Pearl line, and it's the Pearl Vermilion. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm just going to go through and layer the same colors um, until I get enough paint down and um, these colors are beautiful now I'm gonna go ahead and pop some bubbles I did mix these paints yesterday but there still seems to be some bubbles and then I'm just using Amsterdam oxide black and Aussie Floetrol it's three parts Aussie to one part paint and I learned from Garrick, I just took one of his classes, that when you're using your blow dryer to use it like you're an airplane going to land and not a nosedive, which I love that analogy. However, I was heavy handed with my cell activator, so I am pushing down a little bit before I follow through. Um, I love using Puffy to create the cells in the center. Um, I... I think that it, it worked very well in bringing out some of those um, center cells. These colors are just gorgeous together. Um, I've actually put this color combination down in my notebook so that I can create some other things with it. Maybe switch up a color here or there. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to um, put down the same colors. I might switch up the order of the colors just to give it a variation. but. I'm not adding or taking away any other colors. So thank you again for joining us tonight on our Rock and Pour. And there's four of us, starting with Louise McKay at 6.30, then myself, 
then Amber's Awfully Awesome Art, and then Angela Bliss Art. The four of us met a couple months ago and decided that we were going to challenge each other every week, and um, we, we're just having a blast. So we appreciate each and every one of you that are here with us, that continue to follow and like, subscribe. We are just we are just thrilled, and we want to keep doing these challenges every Thursday. Um, next Thursday is um, just any type of swipe challenge. So we hope that you'll join us um, next Thursday. I will actually be at the Fluid Art Experience next Thursday, but we'll jump on. Um, I will be assisting pieces of Tara's artistry in her class at the Fluid Art Experience. I'm very excited to be a part of uh, that event. It's, it's a lot of fun. I do think there's time for you to still um, make your reservation. They have some classes left and um, Winterstrom that created this uh, spinner, she's actually going to be there as well. Garrick Brown will be there. Um, there's a lot of great artists, so check it out. If, if you're not um, planning to go to Seattle, you really should consider going because it's amazing. And this time, I am actually taking Cause Creations um, four-hour landscape class. So you can bet you'll be seeing some landscapes. So on this bloom right here, I wish if you see that white part in the center, I don't like that at all. And I do think that the end results, um, that part really is what I least I don't care for. I should have tilted this off. Um, I do do a little blow to move the petals over, but you will see when you get as you do more and more of these blooms that as you're creating these blooms, you want to get rid of the spots that you don't like. Okay, so let's um, sit back. I'm going to blow this out and then I will see you shortly. See you there. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment Can we stay here? at those beautiful blooms. They are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, the cells are gorgeous. I do not want to spin. I do not want to tilt. I just want to keep it as is, and we know we can't do that. There's too much paint. So I'm spinning just a little bit, a couple times before I tilt, and you can see that center area that I don't like. I really should have tilted probably a little bit differently than I did. I was so worried about losing those cells and 
up in the top area, I did not like um, the pink cells, so I'm going to tip that off first. But we're just going to go through and tilt this out and see what we get. I'm showing you there that we're going to start getting rid of that. Um, it's really the only area that's like a hot pink. But again, um, I am happy with the end results, and I learned a lot from tilting this on a round canvas where it is so important that you do a center bloom, I believe. Um, not focus on three around the center. Start in the center so that you don't have a lot of, I don't know, It's it's negative space is great, but not when it's wonky, kind of like this one is. So... It, the end results are still, I'm still satisfied, but I, I did learn a lot. So um, I'm very thankful to Karen for her guidance on her channel. Garrick, I just went and um, went to his little retreat and learned so much from him. And I've taken pieces of Tara's artistry, uh, her class as well. So I've had three really good coaches, and um, I'm very grateful to... Um, have the ability to watch and learn from them. So let's continue tilting this out. Let's see what we get. I will see you soon. It's really my first true deconstructed bloom. I'm just stretching it about. I love it. Wow. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is gorgeous. Hopefully it dries perfect. Just never know. I don't think I'm going to do any more to it. I am actually in love with this. With a coat of resin, it's going to be stunning. Hey, okay, let's go down for the wet results. Oh, this look at these dreamy colors. So beautiful. I love it. I'm going to go around. You can really see. Look at these beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Come around. Look at these cells. It's just gorgeous. I like a more stretched out look if I'm going to do a deconstructed bloom. Um, I do think there's some areas here that I could have messed with a little more, but I don't want to mess it up. Look at all these cells right over here. That supernova. We've got some mango in there from TLP. You can see the mango. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to show you the dried results. I will see you there. Okay, here we go with the dried results. It is absolutely stunning. This only has the UV spray on it before I put my uh, resin over it. I was not able to get this resin uh, before this video. Let's head over to Amber's channel. Take care. Till next time.